Welcome to this week's video here on Overworked Admin. As we continue our series on PowerShell, uh, we're now into week four. We're going to need to start getting and pulling together different um, features and services, and we're, we're going to need to rely on more than one command. So today we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about um, piping, and what that is is just simply taking the output from one command and passing it to another command. If you're familiar with the Linux command line, you might be very familiar with piping. Uh, we're going to talk about exporting files to a CSV. Um, we're going to talk about some of the help features that um, PowerShell has. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, using just a watcher pointed out that I have a tendency to look off to the side. It's because I have another monitor where I keep my notes. Um, we're going to use uh, some what's called the where clauses and some operators to pass data into search through the data that we are um, actually working on. So the first thing that I want to do is talk about um, is talk about exporting data to a file. So you know you have a lot of data sets. So for example, if we have our good old get process command, right? We get a lot of different data. Um, as you can see, we've got win login, VMware tray, like just a bunch of different processes that you know we may use. Um, now, if we want to get the processes and, and we want to save them for a later time, or if we want to get um, you know all the fields, just so you know, there's like handles, uh, memory, working memory, how much CPU time this has. These are some of the fields that'll fit on our screen. But if we want all of the fields uh, for the git process command, um, we could either A, pick them, or if we didn't know them, we could just export all of this data to a CSV file. So what we want to do is let's just open up Windows Explorer, and let's just come down here, and now oh, we've got a scripts directory. It's from a failed logins tutorial that I did. So let's do C, scripts, and let's just export this process. Oh probably helps if I actually do the export CSV. Um, if you see this little pipe, maybe I should talk about it. This is the pipe command. And essentially where that is, is it's if you hold shift and just above your backslash, that's where the pipe command is. And what we're gonna be using is a command called export CSV. And this path here, and so obviously if you, you know, can read it, um, it's going to export the results by passing it through the pipe option to this export CSV command, and then we're simply going to tell it um, what we want to call the file, and this one we'll call it process.csv. So what you, you're going to see is now, instead of returning this get process command to this screen, it is going to write it to that file. And how do we verify that? We now have this process.csv, and we can just open it. Um, let's just open it up with WordPad. And as you can see, um, you know we have a type, the system diagnostic process. Uh, if we had Excel, uh, we would be able to see a very nice, uh, nicely formatted process module um, or process list. Um, so we have that. So just remember, if you are working with this and you're doing the tutorials, you know if you do export CSV on your specific workstation, you know you would be able to open up this up in Excel. And you know you could take a look at it. Um, I can do next. We want to talk about um, using the where clause to filter data objects. So let's say we're only interested in one of the process um, processes that we're looking for here. Let's say what do we have? What can we use here? Um, let's do. Let's see what process. So we got server manager here. Let's see if there's any sort of process that server manager fires up. And uh, maybe not. Well, actually here, we can identify this, our PowerShell ISE. So what we can do is say, we wanna do git process, and we're gonna use this pipe command. And what we're gonna do is we only want to get the process that is this PowerShell ISE. And where did it go? Ah, right here, PowerShell underscore ISE. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this pipe, right, that this little vertical bar in our screen here, and then we're gonna do where. 
So what's happening here is something that's very important to understand. When we use this WHERE clause, what's going to happen is the GET process is going to pass every single process object via the pipe command to the WHERE command. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in curly brackets because this is actually kind of like a, a little function, I suppose. And we're going to use a very special syntax. It's the dollar sign, an underscore, and a period. And what this is telling us is I want you to use the current object. Right? And it's, this is your really, really key thing to understand. So now what we can do is we can say where this current object, and as you can see, we have process name up here. So what we're gonna do is say where process name is equal to, and we'll do PowerShell, uh, PowerShell underscore ISE. Maybe if I put quotes around it. This is a string literal, so you have to put quotes. It's a good good thing to illustrate. So anytime, in, in this case, let's say you knew that you had like the spooler service, right? Spool SV, and you wanted to kill the service for some reason. You could get the ID of that process and kill the process. So this is something that we're going to be using frequently and, and it's a little step understanding this where clause and understanding the options in that where clause and how to use those options are really important so if we go back to this process list and we open it we'll just open it with notepad maybe it's a little easier to read we see here that we have the noun name which is a process the name of the process Right? And we have a lot of other options. Let me scroll up here. So we could do file version, CPU, company, all these sort of options that we can filter on. Everything in quotes here, you can filter on all these objects here in the quote. So if you're not necessarily sure, um, like the name here, PowerShell ISE, see how this is the second parameter under name? So using this WHERE clause and the option of exporting CSV to get all the available fields that you can search for is really, really powerful. Also, just having the ability to export data to a common CSV format is also really powerful. Just a side note, you have um, a couple other options when um, you know exporting data. You could do things like XML, HTML, things like that. So definitely take a look at those on your own. So as a wrap up, Make sure that you go to the uh, blog, you look at the homeworks, right? The, we have the answers to the homework there. Uh, go through and on your own system, try to use some of these tools. Get process, pipe, where, and then the process name, or even look at the CSV file itself and try to use this where clause with some of the other options that you have. It'll really start helping you search through services and processes in a way that will be helpful to you. Also, if you uh, like the blog series, uh, definitely subscribe to us on YouTube and go check us out on our website. Um, sign up to be a member there. It's completely free. And uh, thank you again. If you value the content on the video, check out our ads. Uh, they place the little ads in the bottom there. It's how I keep the channel running. Um, and have a great day. And check us out again next time on overworkedadmin.com.